Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ayush Sanghi and I am your guide and mentor for the subject Indian economy. As all of you know, Indian economy is an important part for a plethora of government examinations like SSC, banking, civil services examination, CDS, NDA and I can keep on going on with the examination. There's no end. But what is constant is the Indian economy portion. Hence, it is very important for you to know about the guidance and the approach towards Indian economy. So let's understand what exactly do we have to study. So there's one term or a discipline I would say by the name of economics. Economics. So what do we mean by economics per se? Koi bhi aapse generally puche, Keynes aake puche, what is economics? Adam Smith aake puche, what is economics? What do we mean by economics per se? Economics can be defined as allocation of limited resources for the unlimited desires of people. I repeat, it can be defined as allocation of limited resources for unlimited desires of people. Desires unlimited. I want everything in this world. You, all of you have desires. All of you would be wanting probably 5 things, 10 things, 50 things, 100 things. Desires ka koi ant nahi hai. Desires are unlimited. But the resources which are available in the world, no matter what resources you talk about, even sunlight is available for, for just some hours in a day in our country. So if you have certain resources or if you have all resources which are limited, so how do we work out the statistics? Limited resources, unlimited wants. Resources come hai, wants bahut zyada hai. So the allocation of those limited resources in order to satisfy the unlimited wants of those people is the study of economics or is what economics teaches us. This is what economy economics focuses upon. This is what the discipline of economics focuses upon. But we have to study economy. We are not studying economics. Economics is what I've just explained to you. Economics is uh, what we study in general in terms of microeconomics, macroeconomics and various other concepts which are applicable throughout. They are universal concepts. But what our syllabus states is economic development, Indian economy, economy from the point of view of India. Uska kya matlab hota hai? Are we here to study economics? Or we are here to study economy. First understand the difference, then I'll be able to guide you better. You would be able to appreciate the guidance that I impart. So we talk about economy. We talk about economy of India. We talk about economy of a particular region. And that is precisely what our syllabus states. I am talking about Indian economy. So when we apply the concept of economics in a particular geographical territory, whether that's a state or that's a company or that's any region or even that's a country, that application of concept to a particular geographical area is called as economy of that region. So when I apply the concepts of economics like limited resources, unlimited wants with respect to Indians, with respect to people living in India, it is termed as Indian economy. Chinese economy, US economy, Russian economy. We never say Russian economics. We never say Indian economics. What do we say? We see Indian economy. Our syllabus states Indian economy, economic development. Economic development kis cheez ki hogi? Economics development nahi hai. It's economic development. It's development of a particular economy. So first, seal the syllabus what you have to study. You are studying Indian economy. And we have to apply the concept of economics for that part of Indian economy. So we have to basically study certain chapters from the economics point of view, what you have to correlate with the portion of Indian economy. Start with the first chapter, which is demand and supply. So watch my courses on micro and macro economics on the platform, which I have done from the NCERT point of view. I'll be just giving you out the sources. And that is the study of economics, which would be applicable, for, applicable to the geographical territory of India. So this is what you have to study. First, understand the syllabus. Know what you have to study, then you'll be able to study. Are you getting my point? So this is the economics that we are talking about. This is the economy that we are talking about. Now, the entire syllabus in detail has been given as a part of a particular course. So follow me on unacademy.com. The name of the course is Approach to Indian Economy. Approach towards Indian Economy. I have made it ridiculously simple. And it's divided over 12, 13 lessons. And you'll be able to understand, you'll be able to gauge as to what exactly the syllabus states. The entire breakup of each and every topic, every single topic has been given properly in those lessons. So you'll be able to apply your mind, you'll be able to 
to understand, you will be able to correlate and then you will be able to guide your approach or you will be able to approach the subject in a better fashion. So what's that particular course? It states the syllabus in a proper manner. So what are the sources that you have to refer in order to be able to streamline your preparation? Apni preparation ko streamline karne ke liye aapko kya kya sources ki zarurat hai? Granth, jis bhi kitab ko mante hai, us kitab ke saap se NCRT ko us respect pe rakhye utni izzat dije. Starting from NCERT class 9 up till class 12. Class 9 to class 12, each and every NCRT from economy point of view, understanding economic development, understanding Indian economic development, microeconomics, macroeconomics, economics, all these things are important from, from building a base, from building a foundation point of view. Foundation is built. When we talk about economics, ki baat karte hai, microeconomics, macroeconomics. In dono cheezon ko aapko in detail samajna hai, to aapko economic samajna hai ga. Ye aapse poochha nahi jata hai generally. Last, is saal ek question aaya tha opportunity cost pe. So, it's not that it is absolutely neglected. It is asked, it has been asked after so many years. It can be asked. It's not that it can be neglected. But still, the application of this is highly important. Hence, it can never be ignored. So, you have to basically focus on this and you have to apply on this. Aapko is cheez pe apply karna hai. To jitne bhi courses hai, economics ke upar, micro or macro economics ke upar, they are on the platform. Follow me on an academy and attend those courses. Get benefited. It will give you a huge foundational impact. It will build your foundation. It will give you an insight into what exactly economics is. Microeconomics, macroeconomics. Primarily, what are you supposed to know with respect to micro and macroeconomics? Pehli cheez jo aapko pata honi chahiye, that you have to know about the demand and supply concepts. Demand and supply concept ke basis pe inflation aata hai, inflation samaj mein aata hai, usi ke basis pe growth samaj mein aati hai, usi ke basis pe hamein ye samaj mein aata hai, prices of the goods kis tarikhe se fluctuate karte hai. All these things are important, hence we get to know about them. From what? From which point of view? From economics, demand and supply point of view. A question pucha gaya tha opportunity cost pe. So, such questions can, you can only be able to crack such questions if you have read the NCERT. Then we also understand the concept from macroeconomics point of view, macro, a holistic worldview. So, macroeconomics may every single part of the economy, each and every cross section fits into account. So, what all is included as a part of macroeconomics? It includes almost everything. It includes understanding of national income, it includes understanding of money and banking, how does a banking function, what are the definitions of money, what are the variants of money. It also includes understanding of the external sector. It includes understanding of varied perspectives within the Indian economy. That is with respect to macroeconomics. Then we have an understanding of correlation of micro and macroeconomics to a particular territorial aspect and that is economy. For that you have to start with the understanding of the courses that I have made with respect to understanding Indian economy portion. So, jitne bhi courses hai, starting from demand and supply, money, banking, inflation, monetary policy, fiscal policy, capital markets, money markets, stock markets, external sector, industry, infrastructure, ye sare chapters is order mein aap attend karte rahoge, jis order mein maha pe diye hoge hai. So, you have to attend in that very order. It will, it will give you an insight and those are the very things that will give you an understanding of the entire, entire subject. So, when we talk about the levels of economy or when we talk about the levels of exam from the point of view of economy, so there are three levels which all of you know, I am talking about the civil services examination. So first is the prelims which is the MCQ based examination which is application based examination. Sit for sit application hai. Usme jo aapne samjha hai, wo cheez apply hoti hai. Factual cheeze bhi aati hai but they are very less. But most of the things are analytical based. They are application based and something that starts from what? It starts from the prelims part itself analytical point of view. So we have multiple questions. We have the types of instruments, financial instruments, treasury bills kya hota hai, bonds kya hota hai, debt instruments kaun kaun se hote hai. Is sare ke questions aate hai aur unpe based or questions ban sakte hai. Uske sewa aapko question a sakta hai, demand pull inflation or cost push inflation ka kya impact hota hai. Increase in CRR, SLR ka money supply inflation pe kya impact ho sakta hai. Increase in taxes ka money supply pe or economy pe kya, kya impact ho sakta hai. What is the impact of increase or decrease in taxes? What is the impact of understanding as to wh where government is spending money on subsidies. Kis pe 
गवर्नमेंट स्पेंड करती है ये सब एनालिटिक्स है दीज आर एप्लीकेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन विच आर इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम ट्रेनम्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो लुकिंग एट द ट्रेंड ऑफ Uh, of the UPSC civil services since 2011, on an average 15% questions questions are put from the the Indian economy portion. So, 15 sawal on an average aate hai. Upper limit they they have even gone up till 26, 26 bhi aa chuke hai. Primarily they ask around 15 to, 15 to 18 questions you can presume. So what is 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 a safe presumption is around 15 questions will be asked from the Indian economy portion, and that has been an average which has been which has been followed for the last seven years. so this is with respect to prelims now we continue towards mains mains has gs paper number 3 economic topics again economic development so around 125 to 150 marks so there are 10 questions of 12 and a half marks each or there are eight questions of higher weightage or there are less questions with approximately lesser weightage so there can be number of questions the number of questions and the weightage may vary ye vary karta rahega but roughly you are asked 125 to 150 marks out of the 250 marks to so 250 marks ka jo paper hai gs paper number 3 usme 50% a little more than 50% is from the economy point of view so that you have to understand from the point of view of answer writing as well as its dynamic orientation when i say dynamic orientation it means the entire syllabus what has been stated jitni bhi cheeze syllabus mein state kari gayi hain syllabus kafi comprehensively de rakha hai aap syllabus zarur dekhiye and watch my course approach to indian economy to understand the entire syllabus for mains and you will be able to correlate it with how is it important from the mains point of view to mains point of view se cheeze kaise important होती है आप कोरिलेट करें उसे डायनामिसिटी से लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू आर आस्ट अ क्वेश्चन अबाउट मोबिलाइजेशन ऑफ रिसोर्सेस इफ यू आर आस्ट अ क्वेश्चन अबाउट क्रॉप इंश्योरेंस सर्विसेज इफ यू आर आस्ट अ क्वेश्चन अबाउट लेट्स से इंक्लूसिव ग्रोथ सो इंक्लूसिव ग्रोथ मोबिलाइजेशन ऑफ रिसोर्सेज इन्वेस्टमेंट मॉडल्स ऑल दीस थिंग्स कीप ऑन पॉपिंग अप इन द न्यूज़पेपर न्यूज़पेपर में आती रहती हैं चीजें लेट्स से अ न्यू टाइप ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट मॉडल बाय द नेम ऑफ वायबिलिटी गैप फंडिंग हैज कम अप और वी हैव बीन एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड अप्लाई वायबिलिटी गैप फंडिंग फॉर सर्टेन प्रोजेक्ट्स इन आवर कंट्री तो उसका इंपैक्ट हमारे ऊपर कितना है what exactly is the impact so you correlate the static portion with the dynamic portion and you orient yourself to write an answer in 150 words in 200 words bahut important hai answer writing practice for mains mains is not only a game of reading it's also a game of application as well as presentation you have to present it it has to be presented in a manner and the demand for the upsc has to be fulfilled it has to be done in 150 words 200 words jitna bhi pucha raha tha depending on the weightage and it has to be presented in a fashion jahan par aap उस चीज को एड्रेस कर सको जो क्वेश्चन आपसे मांग रहा है दैट इज मीन्स एंड सर्टन कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी सर्टन करेंट डेवलपमेंट्स ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी आर आल्सो आस्ट इन द पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट स्पेसिफिकली इफ यू हैव इकोनॉमिक्स एज एन ऑप्शनल और इफ यू इफ यू हैव डन graduation uh, economics and graduation or if you have an economic mindset even if you haven't done still questions can be put as a part of personality development as well to ye sari cheeze aapko mil sakti hain to economic indian economy ka jo application hai concepts ka dynamic portion ka sari cheezon ka application aap dekh rahe ho shuru se leke end tak right from prelims up till mains and till the personality test throughout hota hai which is why it is important for you to understand the approach towards indian economy with respect to the syllabus read the ncrt's thoroughly if you cannot read attend my lectures by following me on an academy to attend to understand the concepts which have been explained through those ncrts at least the class 12 ncrts support that with daily reading of the hindu newspaper do not go with any xyz newspaper or any economic based newspaper because you don't have that kind of time make sure you read the economy post economy page of the newspaper if you're not able to cover it entirely then what you can do is you can refer to my course by the name of sanghi's mcq digest that course is a one stop shop for everything with respect to current all the important portions i have encapsulated in the form of mcqs as well as on the in the form of mains perspective articles which i explain on a daily basis to so daily basis pe hai which i started last month that is something which is going to hugely benefit you with respect to the analysis of the economic portion and for other portions of the examinations as well तो ये चीजें आपको वहां से मिलेंगी इसके सिवा आई एम प्रज्यूमिंग दैट यू आर 2019 एंड 2020 एस्पिरेंट्स सो यू हैव टू रीड टू इंपॉर्टेंट डॉक्यूमेंट्स वन बाय द नेम ऑफ इकोनॉमिक सर्वे एंड द सेकंड बाय द नेम ऑफ यूनियन बजट व्हिच वुड बी आउट इन द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी एज वेल एज फेब्रुवरी नेक्स्ट ईयर इन 2019 इटसेल्फ एंड इट्स ऑलवेज एडवाइजेबल टू रीड द प्रेजेंट और द लेटेस्ट डॉक्यूमेंट इस साल का डॉक्यूमेंट मत पढ़िएगा अगले साल का डॉक्यूमेंट पढ़िएगा जब वो आए फ्रेश आए तभी डॉक्यूमेंट पढ़िएगा सो 2019 इकोनॉमिक सर्वे दिस ईयरस इकोनॉमिक सर्वे वाज 
divided in two volumes. Union budget was again uh, on the basis of where money had been allocated. So both these things are important to understand the mindset of the government. How is the government thinking? What all sectors have been given money? What all sectors have performed well? What all sectors are underperforming? Ye sari cheeze aapko is holistic analysis se samaj mein aengi. So all these components are important. So daily Hindu analysis or my course on the Hindu analysis through the MCQs. Support that with economic survey as well as the union budget and obviously the static portion has to go with respect to understanding which starts from the NCRT and you can support it with my lessons on the static portion by following me on unacademy.com. Thank you so much. Download the Unacademy learning app from the stores, from the app store, from the play store and subscribe to the YouTube channel for the awesome videos that Unacademy is coming out with. All the best. Bye everyone. Take care.